Our mandate here is to stop thinking like an employee and start thinking like an entrepreneur. The employee of the business is the one who's the technician, the one who looks at the money at the end of the week and wants to distribute that and say, okay, here's my paycheck. Um, we, we all need um, financing. We all need the personal financing. But I want you to step back as the business owner, not the employee. You don't, none of us are walking in there with a time card. Um, if we do, it's uh, maybe a remnants of, of days past. But when we start thinking like an entrepreneur, a, a, as a reminder, if you have not read those first six chapters of The E-Mist Re Revisited, go back and do it again. Because this big idea that the entrepreneur is the dreamer in us and that personality needs to be expressed. And the entrepreneur is, is why we asked you on this think sheet, how much time do you spend working on your business a day? Is it 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 40 minutes? And by the way, being in the office adjusting patients is not working on the business. That's working in the business. Working on the business would be your pod modules, your learning that you're doing, your rereading, those things, and your forming uh, training modules, your training of staff. That's all working on the business. And we want to assure that you have made time. That's what making time's about. Making time. It's it, when we present this model, module about changing hours, it is the number one thing that freaks most doctors out. And, the, and each of them in our history say, well, I feel like I want to do this. It feels comfortable. And, and truly it does because anytime something is a habit, it's comfortable. And we're throwing some new ideas in there and we're not throwing them um, in a capricious manner. These are uh, ideas that have been innovated, meaning we tried different ways. We tried at 8 o'clock, we tried at 7 o'clock, we tried at 9.30, we tried at 10.30, we tried at 11 to start in the morning, and we tried to start in the afternoon at 1, we tried 12. If you get the idea, innovate means let's make something up and let's Instead of seeing and feeling like that's what works, let's look at the numbers. That's what quantify means. Did my practice have an increase in production? Did my practice have an increase of new patients? Did my practice have an increase anywhere? What, or did it have a decrease? So we measured that. And we continue to measure that in, in all the practices. And an orchestrate doesn't mean a, a band leader, but it kind of is. Orchestrate means I now document it, I write it down, this is how we do it. I'm giving you the business overview so that you have in your mindset that technician in you, that clinician in you, just wants to go and adjust people, wants to do your techniques, your whether you have a pregnant mom you want to work with or you have a child with um, otitis media or whether you have uh, a, se a senior citizen that is that you're helping get from a walker to a cane to without a cane, whatever that passion and power it, that's driving you, that bigger reason, we want you to be able to be free of these managerial concepts at some point, these managerial duties that pull us away. But that clinician in you is going to fight this idea tooth and nail. That's, that's the nature of that part of us. And, it, and it, isn't, it isn't a schizophrenia. And the idea here is that it's not just chiropractors. All small business owners have the same challenge. So reread that. Identify your personality and just know that nobody has all three. The manager is the organizer, the dreamer is the entrepreneur, the technician is the one who's doing the adjustment. Nobody has a balance of all three. That would be an incredibly gifted human being. But if you realize that you can't be held by the tyranny of any one, you can really make some uh, major shifts in your in the way and as first of all in the understanding of the business of chiropractic from an entirely different perspective that's going to carry you into the future regardless what happens so m most of the time and you have maybe read this before but i want to sear this into your uh, consciousness is that all we can really manage in life is time work and space you don't see people here in the traditional way of of looking at health care is that health comes from outside in. Germs are bad, um, we have to kill germs. 
that's how we look that's how the world the of allopathic world looks at health and healing in most of our patients we're when we look at management that's exact management um, in common uh, nomenclature whether it's an MBA program or in some MBA programs are a bit more progressive but they're looking at the idea of managing people and managing people's like herding cats it's not even that funny it's really frustrating so let's manage the time you have to satisfy your target market in other words make hours that are convenient for them you have to have time for you to have the cognitive endurance and the emotional agility to pursue this thing this passion this wonderful um, thing that we get to do as chiropractors but you also have and but you also have to have have time to work on the business that's why the hours are set up the way they're set up then we manage the work and that's when we look at patient time paper time that's what that's about and we we want to have those lines be a, a lot more cl clearly stated so that there's an appreciation of why those wh why that has to occur and we're looking in terms of how the brain works and how much people can really focus and whether or not they're able to truly multitask or is that a misnomer as well. And then we've got to measure or monitor and manage the space. That means we look at layouts, we look at the functionality of what you have right now works for what you have. But letting go of the way it is now to reach toward that equity goal line. And I trust that each of you have are getting a little better idea of wanting to shed the stress of a, of a business that where they have a job where they go in with just a um, where you go in and just with a name tag going hey here it is it's Dr. Steve it's Dr. Kerry it's Dr. Jeff it's Dr. Maraid that you have a business that is running for you